Welcome back guys to my weekly market tracker for the hot and not so hot cards of the week. This week we're going to take a look at the original Time Spiral in anticipation of Time Spiral Remastered coming out. And other standard sets as the release of Caldime is only a couple days away. Now let's take a look at what the market has in store for Time Spiral. Sealed prices for this set have been ranging from $1,000 to $12.99 when looking at the last two sales on eBay, with the current lowest listing at $13.99.99 at a buy it now price. The top two cards of the set are going to be Gemstone Caverns, which is priced at $54.95, and Vesuva at $38.47, both lands of the set. Now the question is going to be, how is Time Spiral Remastered going to affect the single card market for the Time Spiral block? What we know so far is that the box will consist of a regular 16 card draft booster packs that feature reprints from the Time Spiral, Planar Chaos, and Future Sight sets. Time Spiral Remastered is set to be released March 19th of this year, so we'll take a look and see once the spoilers come out how it will affect the single card market for these sets. Now let's jump into Standard and take a look at Zendikar Rising. This week we see a positive shift in the set with 43 cards moving up and 30 cards moving down. Box openers will see a low of $34.56 and a market of $63.36. Card with the biggest jump of the week is Skyclave Apparition at $0.42 cents going up to $8.41. For the third week straight, we see Agadim's Awakening going down 52 cents for the week, making it $14. Next up, Core 2021. We're seeing 32 cards moving up in price and 28 cards moving down. When opening a box, we see our low at $46.80 and market value at $89.28 which still makes it fun to open without losing too much value. This week we see a new card in the gainer spot, with Terror of the Peaks moving up $0.57 cents to $17.19. And we have a card who's making an appearance two times out of the three weeks, Azusa Lost But Seeking, going down $0.16 cents for the week, making it $7. Next up, we have Ikoria, Lair of Behemoths. This week, we have 30 cards moving up and 22 cards moving down. You'll see expected value at $48.96 at its low and $93.96 at market. Our top mover of the week is Dranith Magistrate, moving up $0.48 cents to $4.49. We see Fiend Artisan moving down for two weeks in a row, going down $0.16 cents to $9 for the week. Our next standard set, Theros Beyond Death, continues to see positive movement, with God cards playing a large role in Kaltheim. If you decide to open a box, you'll see $51.48 at low, and $92.16 at market value. We have a new top gainer this week with Idyllic Tutor moving up 15 cents to $4.44. On the opposite end, we're seeing Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath continue to drop down $2.07 to make it $42.56. All right, and our last standard box, Throne of Aldrain, before we add Cal Time next week. We're seeing 22 cards move up in price while 39 cards are moving down. We're still seeing one of the lower expected values coming out of Throne with $42.84 at its low and $75.60 at market. We have Oko moving up $0.91 cents for the week to make it $21.82. For the second week in a row, we see the Great Henge moving down $2.28 to $50.51. For our last box of the set, I usually like to include something that's Pioneer Legal, and we're going to take a look at Eldritch Moon. 
Sales for sealed boxes have been ranging between $180 to $200, one even as high as $289 on eBay. Currently, the lowest listed price is $224 at Buy It Now, but most ranging on average at $240. Top two cards of this set are going to be Mythics, the first being Emrakul, The Promised End, at $38.68. And our second card being Gisela, the Broken Blade, at $21.19. Well guys, that does it for our weekly Magic the Gathering tracker. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next week, we'll be featuring Cal Time cards, taking a look at single card prices around release date. Make sure you guys hit that like button, comment below, and subscribe for Cal Time Collector Box openings coming up soon.